I asked what you guys wanted to see, and you said you wanted to see Flint Hills RP, so let's get into it. As always, guys, over 75% of you are not subscribed. If you want to help a pick off, then click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. We are trying to beat Austin Farmer to 100,000 subscribers, and guys, we're getting there. We're like less than 500 away from passing them again. So help a pickle out and click that subscribe button. All right. Good morning, little puppers. Hey, you, you come here. Come here. Come here. Get your food. Come get your food. Okay, dog. I don't know how to feed you. I've, I've suddenly forgotten how food works. There you go. Come here. Get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. Put some pep in your step, buddy. There you go. Good boy. Love you. Love you, doggo. So today we got a lot of stuff to work on, as always. It's about summertime. We're just like at the last day of spring here. And we have one field that we need to get planted yet. It's our field that was going to be corn. We also have horses to take care of, as always. We got hay bales that we've left out in the field for a little bit far too long. We need to get some of those moved in. We also have another hay field that needs to get mowed. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, King May, has mowed some of our yard very kindly of him. So thank you, sir. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. So I think first thing we're going to do this morning is do our morning exercises and routine with the horses. First, I'm just going to run over here and looks like they do need some water and looks like we need to get them a new bale of hay here as well. That looks strange. Let's go check on the other pen over here real quick. Uh, and yes, need of water and they don't need quite as much hay. They're still doing all right. I'm a horse. <laughs> all right, so first things first, we're going to get the uh, water for the horses here now. Let's see if I can find out where that oh, wait i think it's over here hey there it is so we're gonna water the horses and uh you know what you know what i actually might want to make a phone call here i heard one of our neighbors was interested in getting some horses so i might uh i might try shooting him a call and getting him interested in letting us kind of train his horse and get him started in race the racehorse industry i don't know we'll see if i can do that or not but we're gonna get turned around here we're gonna water up the horses and uh then i think we'll take a few out to ride them and get them all, you know, trained a little bit. And then I think the next task we will work on is moving some of those bales out of that field because you don't want to leave them in the field. That's just, that's just poor practice. And horse pin number one is watered. Watch out, honkity honk, honk horse. Coming by, don't mind me. <sighs> I'm thinking about putting in another entrance into this pasture here, down here at this end, so I don't have to drive all the way back over here. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll do that. But today... I'm feeling too lazy. Nay, don't you walk out of the gate now? Yeah, good. Eat, eat dirt. It's better than walking out of the gate. I gotta close this. You stay right there. And as that bird shimmies up the side of a tree, we are done watering the horses. Now we need to go get him a bale of hay. So I think we're just gonna hop up in the case skid steer, fire it up, and I think we'll just use this to go give the horses some food here real quick. All right, nice and easy, lemon squeezy. Here we go. We can do this. I believe in you, Jake. You can do it. You can stab that bale. I know you can. If if you under if you oh, this is difficult. Listen, skid steer. I need you to work with me here now. Nice and easy, lemon squeezy. I already said it. And that's about as far as we're gonna be able to go. Let's back up. Tilt her back. Drop her down. Look at that. We got the bale. I knew we could do it. I believed in us. Again, if there was a gate just right here, it would be so much easier. Now we got to go all the way back this way. Hopefully we don't tip on this side hill. I love driving with a bale in front of me. It makes it so you can't see a darn thing. Hopefully the pupper stays over there in the backyard. Yeah, that's a bale horsey. Are you excited for the bale? I know you are, bud. I know you are. No, you're hungry. Here you go. There's your bale, okay? Enjoy your bale. That was supposed to fall the other way. But there you go. All right, we fed the horses. The other pasture doesn't quite need another bale yet, so we're not going to feed them. I think we are good to get on to our next task. Watch out, bird. There you go. Good boy. All right, next thing to do is move some bales out of that field now. Did we load them up on a trailer and bring them over? I think we're close enough to the house that we can just do it with a front loader and nothing more. So I think we'll go ahead and disconnect the mower from the... It looks like King got this out of the ditch, by the way. That was kind of him. I didn't have the stones to do it. Apparently he did. So we're going to get this disconnected and move some bales real quick. All right. So we're headed out to where the bales are. But real quick, I just want to go over here and show you something. So as you know, we built that pin right over there. That's our little exercise circle or um, it's really a training circle. And then over here, we've got the track, as you guys have seen. But we got these new lights installed. And I think they look a lot 
lot better. I really like the look of these lights. So these go all the way around the track, just like the old ones that we had. And uh, then we also have lights down this pathway right here. Once, once we extend this and there's more pastures and pens and stuff, we will uh, we'll make this a double lit pathway right through here. But for now, that will be just fine. But I see some bales over here off in the distance, so we're going to go pick one up, drive it on. Yeah, maybe we should have used a trailer. Uh, oh, and then I got to load them onto a trailer, then take them off the trailer. I feel like this should work just fine. So we're going to... Oh my gosh, we're testing my... See, this is a problem in real life too, is you can never ever see it, but you... Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain something. So in real life, depending on what you have, some loaders are in like, and stuff, there's actually kind of a level, if you will, so you can tell what like angle you've got your deal, because you can't see it when you drop it down, right? And it becomes a real pain. I really, really, really wish that this loader had that. But, you know, now I'm just, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess, right? So we're going to move a couple bales here. Should work fine enough. There we go. And we're going to move these on over to the bale storage. If you guys have seen, <laughs> there, I think there's a video of me in real life moving bales in a field. And uh, it's it, it, it it's something, dude. It's something. When you're just cruising along the ground at like three mile an hour, five mile an hour, you got to find some ways to entertain yourself, right? I pretty much just yelled at the bales for a solid 10 minutes or whatever it was. I don't remember anymore. That was a while ago. I got this bale stabbed a little crooked here, but I think we should be able to put it on fine still, hopefully. There we go. Let's drop it down. Yes, that is going to be very crooked, but what is happening? This bale is massive, dude. This bale is massive. These other bales are teeny weeny, itsy beetsy, yellow polka dot bikini, dude. What is this? Okay, well, we're going to make a new stack of bales away from that stack of bales, apparently, because yikes. I was wondering why that wasn't matching up. I was like, what is ha what, what is happening here? What is going on? Something's not right. And, ah, no, 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 no touchy touchy bale. Good, good bale. Hey, you need to get over farther, ba Mr. Bale. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Let's scooch it forward up against the wall. There we go. And yes, lift the tractor straight up in the air. And back up. That's exactly how you do it. Professional. That is... Oh! Oh, oh I didn't do that. All right, there we go. Let's back up. And we moved a couple bales. I'm going to leave this tractor right here. I know we only moved two, but I got some stuff I want to work on. So, um, we will run the horses a little bit later. We'll let them relax after they've eaten. We don't want to run them right after they've eaten. Uh, we are going to run up to the co-op. And we're going to get our spray rig all ready to go. Because it is that time of year, it is that time of year to get spraying, and that is what we're going to start on. We got some of our own fields to spray, so we'll see you guys up at the co-op. Alright, so we got that all hooked up, but we will have to fill it up here. So, I think the first thing we're going to go do is get this filled up before we prep anything else. So, let's roll right on over here and fill on up with, I think we'll do a stage of fertilizer for this first run. This is not necessarily designed to be turning in from this direction, but we're going to try our best here. Swing her a little wide. And there we go. Perfect. So now we just got to go right down there. The very final one. Yes, the last one is the one that we need to hook up to. All right, we got it all hooked up and we are filling up the trailer here. We got the motor running. We're doing, uh, you know, we, we got some of the, the actual fertilizer being stored here and then mixed in with water. We're doing, you know... I forget the exact ratio that we're going to be running here today, but if let's uh let's just estimate say like it's one part per one part per thousand or something like that. You know, I don't know the actual ratio, but you guys get the idea. So we're not applying straight chemical; we are applying a water-based um, kind of mix, if that makes sense. The water is kind of the carrying agent, the binding agent that takes it to the plant. We're going to run over here and get the sprayer ready to go. Now, I don't know how much or if any that we are going to get done spraying here today. Um, we may we may go ahead and start try spraying today, but I prefer to do that when I have a farm hand around or uh, someone to help out on the co-op because it really, ooh, watch it. It really makes the job a lot easier when you have multiple people uh, running so you can have one guy running the sprayer one guy running the truck and so on and so forth but we will make do with what we've got for now i think what i'm actually going to do is to simplify the process of filling this sprayer up we're going to back the sprayer up right here 
and leave it run right there. Then we're going to take that trailer and back it right on up over here so we can connect these up via a hose. Now I'm going to go over here and grab the hose and get that prepped to, to go as well here. And I'm going to set that down right there and that's prepped ready to go. Let's run over here and see if this has been auto shut off yet. And looks like it has. All right. So we get that all disconnected and uh, we're going to pull this around to the sprayer all right so we gotta find a way to back this trailer right on up into there now this could be a little bit more of a painful process than i would like it to be but we will we'll make it work we're gonna have to go into the grass a little bit here and kind of turn her nice and sharp but nice thing about this single wheel i mean aside from the fact that that's a spread axle trailer back there that does kind of dip, make this a little difficult but the fact that this is a single wheel semi, we can turn rather sharp with it. And there we go. This is back kind of right up on over here like this. And then we'll go straight on back like so. Right about... Right about there should do. We might even have to pull forward a little bit, but that should be fine right there. So now all we got to do is go over here and grab this hose once again. Walk the hose right on over here to the trailer. And all we should have to do is line it up to this and stick it right on there. All right, perfect. We got that one connected. Now let's connect this end over here. There we go. We got it all connected. Perfect. So now I'm going to make sure this pump is set to fill and this pump or this pump is set to empty. This pump is set to fill here. All right, perfect. We're going to turn on the pump on the trailer. That's running as we can hear right there. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to turn on the pump to the sprayer. And there we go. We should be filling up our tank with uh the fertilizer mix that we are putting in here today all right cool so we got it all filled up not too not too difficult really not too difficult at all sprayers filled up with liquid fertilizer now we can come over here grab this hose oh that's a trailer and uh i think we're good to go i can actually just leave this truck here for now we're gonna take only the sprayer since i can't drive two things all right so we're here lined up whoa 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 oh oh no uh, oh no that's not what i expected it to do at all Oh, oh no, that's not what I expected it to do at all either. Oh boy, we're get, we gotta learn a new sprayer. Give me a minute. Hey, that's what I was looking for. Sweet. So we're gonna put that down and we are lined up, ready to go. Turn off the four ways and start rolling forward and turn on the sprayer. There we go. We are applying our first layer of fertilizer to these fields. Now this should go very, very quickly using this large sprayer here. So I don't expect this to take very long. We will, uh, we'll catch you guys once we made a little bit more progress. Things are going fairly smooth. I mean, not the best, but fairly smooth. And, uh, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all later.